letzte Art hier. Now, part B of the statistics one, that is getting to draw the histogram and frequency polygon. So you see, for us to draw histo uh, histogram and frequency polygon, uh, let's use the uh, data like this one. So we have data, we have the max, and we have the frequency. So you have a data, we are given the max and the frequency. So again, 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, 60 to 69, 70 to 79, 80 to 89, 90 to 99. So you have data like that. So if you're given frequency here, let's say 5, let's say 9, 13, uh, 17, 20, then you have 15, 8, 4, 2, 1. Then you are asked this, so you have this table, you're given that table, then they ask you, draw a histogram and a frequency polygon from this data. So the frequency polygon, for us to draw the frequency polygon, you must draw the histogram, or you must be able to know how to draw a histogram. So you'll have your graph, And then you have zero, you have a y axis, you have the x axis. Now, for us to have now the histogram, on the y axis, you have to get the frequency, and the x axis, you have the upper limits. You have the upper limits. So, the upper limits are these values here, you add 0 0.5, so 19.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5.5. So here, you're going to have the subdivision, and uh, for this case, let's say, you have uh, here, you have 9.5, 19.5, 29.5, 39.5, so 39.5, 49.5, 59.5, 69.5, 79.5, 89.5, and 99.5. So the upper limits on the lower side, on the upper side, on the y axis, we have the frequency. Now, from the table, you have to get a good uh, scale. So the highest frequency here is 20. So on your graph, I mean in your graph, you're going to use the value of 5, 10, 15, 20, and 5. Let's use that, depending on your scale. So for frequency, for 9.5, the frequency is 5. So you're going to have a table like that. So you have uh, you'll have that. Then you have 19.5 goes with 9. So 9 is around there. So again, you're going to have something like this. Again, you have 13. 29.5, so that goes to 13. That is just above, uh, just below 15. And then 29.5. So now you're going to have that. That is for 29.5. Then we have 17. 17 is just above 15. That one goes for. That one goes for. That's 9.5. Then you have the highest that is 20, 49.5. You go to 20. 
again, you have that. Then you have 50 to 59.5, is that to 15. You have 15, that is 59.5. Then 60, you have 8. 8, so you have to go to the this. Then you have 4, that's below 5. Then you have 2, and finally you have 1. So this one is a histogram. The bars represent the histogram of that data. Now, to get the frequency polygon, you get the mid of this histogram. So you mark there, 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 at the middle, at the middle, like that. And then you join those middle with a bear uh, that is with the bear hand. You don't have to use a ruler. You come like that, like that, like that. So now this line or this curve is the frequency polygon. And the tables, the bars, these bars are the histogram. So you have the histogram and you have the line which becomes the frequency polygon. So that is how you do histogram and frequency polygon.